Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial, and in this one we need to talk about the gate. Now, a gate, it's something that you get pretty much with any, uh, any DAW, <laughs> you know? It's a very basic and important thing that we use the whole time. Now, maybe you don't know what a gate is. I'm going to show you right now, the, you know, different ways of using a gate. Now, the most classic way of using a gate is just to silence something that we don't want to hear. We don't want to pr to be present. And I'm going to give you an example for, you know, for example, I'm going to go bring this uh, DX7. And this is the Arturia version of the DX7. You know, if it's opening. Okay, so there it is. Now, this one sounds really cool really cool synthesizer and really cool plugging now it has right here dac uh, uh R -R -R -E -S, uh, i don't remember what this means exactly exactly but what it means that it will it will model uh the vintage or uh the modern kind of a side of things and the vintage it means it has noise because this is, is a vintage synthesizer so by default it gives you a, a low floor noise now if you go to modern that noise it doesn't exist, you know, it just goes away. Now, if I go in and just play it, you might not hear it because it's super low. Now, can you hear the difference? Maybe you need to hit you to use headphones. So yeah, well, this gives you that and that we can actually see this right here. This is the noise that the synthesizer is just bringing and it's, it's kind of a lot of noise, you know, it's just, it's just wild. But that's fine, you know, that's how it was, you know, how it really is or was in the past. Now, the thing is that sometimes this one, it's something that uh, you don't want because you're going to be uh, playing on the synthesizer, you know, some notes, whatever, whatever. And sometimes you can have silence. So what do you need to do? You need to go and edit and chop the audio file, you know, just to remove the in-between, you know, these parts when you have the silence. You know, just giving you an example. So what you can do instead, you can use a gate. Now, the gate is going to silence uh, the... Uh, amount of whatever sound or uh, you know volume you want to uh, attenuate and let me show you i'm gonna go right here and for now notice as soon as i turn it on uh, the noise is going away right and if i turn it off the noise is back now of course this is not working on top of the plugging it's just you know afterwards and what it's doing is saying okay so uh, i'm gonna be listening for something if that something goes below a threshold i'm just gonna turn the volume down. And if it goes up, I'm just gonna let it pass. That's why it's called a gate. It's gonna let it pass or block the access. Now, uh, the controls that you get is attack and release, just like a compressor, and you get the threshold just comp like a compressor. Now, notice that you have a tiny red line right here, and then this is the representation of this noise. It's the volume that it's, you know, feeding into the gate. Right now, the gate is just blocking everything. But if I go to the threshold all the way down, we are saying, dude, I don't care what to do. Just let everything pass. Now, the threshold is this red line that is moving. So we are pretty much saying every sound that goes below 40 dBs, right? And this is where the noise is, is going to be attenuated. So this shows how much volume drop is doing, which is a lot. It's just, you know, pretty much it's just lowering the whole volume now as soon as they go down notice that nothing happens but when i get close to the sound of that noise is going to not attenuate and that's how it works that's how it works if the if it goes up it's not doing anything but if it goes down it's just going to drop the volume now the depth control uh, it means that how much volume drop is going to do because right now it's just going it's just lowering the volume all the way down now, the depth, if I, you know, turn it off, we are back to the noise. Because we are saying, dude, uh, you know, don't uh, lower the volume. Now, instead of just going from 0 to 100, we can do something in between, you know, attenuate just a little bit. And we can see that we are doing a little bit of attenuation. And uh, if I do a little bit more, it goes more and more and more until we get kind of a, you know, full silence. So that's what the threshold is and what the depth is. Yeah, whenever you have, you want to attenuate something, you need to, you know, find the threshold. Let's uh, just watch right here when the meter goes down, you know, below the red line, and then attenuate uh, just as much as you wish. Now, then you have the attack and the release, and this is depends on, on the sound. So it, it's not going to really work on a noise uh, like here. So I'm going to go to this one. So this one, it has some sound. So I'm going to go and just play the sound. So, the 
only thing is there's some some chords, right? Now the thing is that notice that when we play the chord, there is some space right here, and it's because I'm using a little bit of reverb, a little bit of played reverb. Now when I play, it's very raw, right? We don't have we don't have reverb. Now the reverb it's pretty long, and I made this on purpose. Now what happens? If you don't want for that uh, reverb to be that long, you want to attenuate that uh, tail uh, just a little bit, you know, you can use a gate. So I'm going to go and just show you what the gate is going to do. Uh, because now the values are going to be different. I'm going to go and play it. And notice that right here, we get the main sound, the chords. And notice that when this line, the meter, goes below the red line, it's attenuating. It's just going all the other way. Now, of course, it's kind of a jumping like this. And I'm going to go attack and release all the way, you know, to zero. And it's, it's starting to introduce kind of a weird noise. And this is because of the attack and the release. Now, maybe I don't want to cut the sound of the reverb that fast. Maybe I want to do to it later when it goes in lower noise. And maybe I don't want to be that harsh. I just want it to attenuate just a little bit, so I need to go lower on depth. Now, if I go, you know, much more, maybe uh, there, notice how it's lowering the volume. It's going really fast. And that's why it's so jumpy. And it's because the attack and release, we are saying do it super fast. So the attack is how you begin to do the attenuation and how do you begin to, you know, kind of a release the, the attenuation, just how, how, you know, how fast you open the gate and how fast you open, you close it. So for example, what happens if, uh, when, when the volume drops, if instead of going really fast, I want to do a smooth, right? I want, I want it to be smooth. So, well, you're going to do release. You're going to add more release and notice that the smoothness is going to be starting. Now the, I notice it's much more, you know, much smoother now. And you can see it right here. Notice that now we have a belly and before we had just, you know, down. But now we have a belly. And this is just a little bit better. It just sounds a little bit more natural when we uh, do the attenuation. Or the gating in this case. So then you have the other scenario. What happens when it starts attenuating? Notice it's a bit jumpy. Well, this is the same thing. It's going to give you kind of a, a smooth attenuation. It's going to start smoothly. Now, if you go on small amounts, it's just not going to do much. But if you go a little bit, you know, go hard on this one, notice that now we have the representation right here, this line. Sadly, you know, I just cannot pause it. But this line, can you see right there? It's like that. It's not just, you know, straight line. It has a kind of a, a curve. If I go all the way, we can really see that. So it's just it's smoothly opening the gate and smoothly closing the gate. Now, of course, this is, depends on what you want to do because right now it's chopping the initial transient of the uh, of the court, and it's something that you don't want, maybe. And right here is where you need to, you know, start moving knobs and just trying to fit whatever it is that you want to do. Now, for example, in this case, I want to cut the, uh, you know, the reverb a little bit faster. So I'm going to go and just rise the red line, which means it's going to start faster because the volume, when it goes there, it's going to go down. Now, if I go all the way, it's going to be full silence. Now, of course, maybe it's too much. I'm just going to do a little bit. If I want a smoother, you know, release. I got it. If I want a, a smoother kind of a opening. Closing this game. Yeah, actually opening. We get it. Now, without. We don't get that effect. And this is... If this is something that you you use, you know, the gate is something that we can use the whole time with reverb. It's a very common technique, uh, gating the reverb. 
And it's just to cut the tail uh, just a little bit more, you know, just, just to cut it a little bit more. Now, this is one of the, you know, the other use of a gate, just attenuating, just, you know, cutting some sound that extends or just removing the tail. And uh, it's very common in, in snares, you know, the snare, when you put a plate reverb on the snare, and the tail is super long and maybe it's just too long, well, then you gate it. And that's, you know, the gated reverb snare technique. So, yeah, that's that's how it works. Now, what else? What else can we do with the gate? Well, uh, maybe you didn't notice, but you have other ways of doing gates on Bitwig because uh, you get a lot of tools and uh, devices. So for now, I'm going to go and just turn this off. And I'm going to bring this one. Uh, this one, let me just go with the tool. And I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to just bring it again. I'm going to go and bring the fourth stage. And I'm going to go and remove this one. So what is this is doing in essence is just lowering the volume at, uh, at a certain point, right? So, well, this one, the fourth stage, what is, is what it is, is an envelope that provides an instruction uh, to do something. So what happens if we use it to instruct uh, the tool to lower the volume whenever we want, right? So yeah, you know, we can do that. So I'm going to go right here and notice that the sound starts every time we play a key. And at what one point I could say, just lower the volume. Or maybe something like that, with it, with maybe with the number four. Let me just go there. There you go. And I'm going to do a little bit aggressive so we can really hear the difference. So right now we are not doing anything. But I'm saying at some point, just do something. So I'm going to go grab the modulator and I'm going to lower the volume. And it's going to cut this out. If you think about this, it's doing part of what the gate is doing when, when it releases. Now, of course, this is very aggressive. Now, this is the cool thing of, a, of the fourth stage. It's an envelope. We can shape it and we can even just kind of a provide some weird, some weird, you know, movements. And then you get a different type of gating. And this is something, again, that you can use on, you know, this, this techniques when you want to uh, cut the, the tail of the reverb. It's cutting, then going back, and then cutting again. And then again, you just need to, to play a little bit with this. Just a different thing. Okay. So that's it, you know, just a different way of gating, you know, with the tool. Okay, so let me show you a different way of doing this. Now, uh, uh, we used it just to cut, uh, you know, just to remove a little bit of noise and, you know, unwanted noise. We use it to cut the tails of something, but you can also use it on a more creative way, you know, just to create sounds. Because at the end of the day, <clears throat> sorry, this is a gate, right? So you can lower the volume uh, whenever you want. You can provide a, 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 an instruction to do it. And right now, I have some snares right here. Let me just show you the snares. I'm gonna go and then, the, you know, there's no output, so I'm gonna go and do it on master. That's the snare, you know, very noisy. That's why it's, you know, off. So what I want to do, I want to use this instruction, uh, you know, this snare to move the gate. That's why you get the side chain right there. So I'm gonna go and select the side chain and I'm gonna go and do some playing. So I'm gonna go and do play and notice that first, let me just turn it off and turn it on. And on this one, we have uh, sustain notes. So now the gate is going to start to, you know, lower the volume and going down and up. And it's going to follow whatever the snare is saying. Whenever the snare plays, it just goes down and up. And now, of course, the threshold really matters because if I do nothing, we are not going to be capturing anything of the snare. So as I go up, we just get more of the snare. And if I get more, it's because we are getting more detailed of this one, which sometimes is just, you know, not good, but, you know, it could be a good sound. In this case, I just want to do something like this. Now, the depth is how, you know, how uh, hard are you going to be lowering the volume, remember? So if I go down, we're going to do a little bit less. We are not really going all the way down. And you get, you know, just a much more smooth sequence. All right. Now, 
remember that how it, how it goes down and how it goes up it's gonna be decided by the attack if i go fast and fast it's just gonna be like a square really hard transitions but maybe i want a smoother transition and i want a smoother release and notice that we get a different sound again maybe the it's just the release is just too much so i'm gonna go i'm gonna get something more useful and there you go now maybe if you have some dumb chords and uh, you can throw maybe an audio or something or maybe a midi instruction and just provide some movement to whatever audio or maybe some pads or chords so this is another you know usage of a gate right so now what is cool with this gate with this one i don't i wouldn't know about other gates is that they give you a sidechain effects and this one is really cool because now you don't need to listen for some other you know uh, input source to provide some motion you can go and do and i'm gonna do something dumb i'm gonna do the test tone and if you don't know what the test tone is it's just this <laughs> it's just a sign now the thing is that with this we can provide that instruction by doing we could do something like that with modulators. So I'm going to go to the sidechain. And now the sidechain is going to be listening to the test tone. And of course it goes crazy because it has no idea what to do. If I go up in volume, of course it does nothing. Now the trick is that we need to uh, kind of modulate this sound. Just like we are, you know, getting the snare, you know. So I'm going to go right here. And I don't know, I'm going to do something like steps. Right, so I'm gonna go to the steps and let me just close this one. I'm gonna go to the steps and I'm gonna say that when we play it, I'm gonna grab the test tone and I'm gonna go up in volume. And now we can tailor, we just can create different things like we would do with the step sequencer, right? Just create different movements with different rhythms and you know, and just something like that, you know. So now, there it is movement is just a little bit different now of course i'm gonna go 100 of the mix you know you can even change this but it's, it's just not gonna matter much and there you go now you have a more controlled kind of a gating uh rhythm now if you go in between it's going to react differently now, let me just show you a, something like that Notice that we are not getting a lot of the gate, and it's because it's not kind of a meeting the threshold. So you really need to be aware of this. It's catching it there, but it's again, do it's just a little bit different. Oh, so, you know, this is for you to know. So now you can do whatever you want right here. You can even go. 40 something steps or maybe do random and just see what happens right uh, maybe 63 is uh, just too much i'm gonna go maybe to i don't know 16 steps and uh, again we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go right there we're gonna pick that, that one maybe not that one that one and again, you just can go and just mess with this around and just maybe get something useful, right? I got you know, that's a good, that's a cool rhythm. And we are just doing it with a gate and a test tone. All right, so that's it. That's, you know, the other usage of, uh, of a gate. Uh, use it on a more creative way okay so hopefully you will uh, learn something on this one uh, remember to subscribe and like the video because because if you don't subscribe and you don't like the channel dies of course that's how i know you like these videos if no one likes it no one you know subscribes i'm just gonna stop doing it so remember to like and subscribe if you find uh, this useful and remember of course to check patreon because i upload uh, everything uh, to patreon way before i do it right here so, okay, so see you on the next one.